But I do want to share with you this morning Luke uh, chapter 1, 39 through 45, the light of grace from, from Elizabeth. And so the words read, in, these day, in those days Mary set out and went with haste to a Judean town in the hill country where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. And when Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why has this happened to me, that the mother of my Lord comes to me? For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the child in my womb leaped for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Pray with me. Lord God, I thank you today that you have come into this place. And I pray that you speak through me and in spite of me this morning. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. So these two women come together. And I want you to understand that Elizabeth was a good priest's wife. Now you probably have this image and I think it's kind of ironic that I'm saying it this way, but we all know what a good pastor's wife looks like, right? Uh, A pastor, I know, here I am, right? Uh, Okay. So a good pastor's wife, she supports the pastor in any way that she can and, and is usually one who works with the uh, United Methodist women or the women in faith, right? Yeah, okay, does the Bible studies, does some Sunday school things, all those kinds of, of little things. Well, that would have been what Elizabeth was like. For Zechariah, if you remember from a couple weeks ago, was one of the priests. However, It was a shame back in those days that if you did not have children, then it brought shame to not only you, but to your husband. And so for all these years, she was not able to have any children. And now here she is, she's six months along, and she's pregnant with John the Baptist. Okay, remember, prepare the way of the Lord. Prepare the way of the Lord. That's what Advent's all about. Well, when Mary comes to see her, at this point, Mary is three months along. And as soon as she comes in the house, the Holy Spirit comes over Elizabeth, fills her with the Holy Spirit, and John the Baptist leaps for joy in her, in her belly. Now think about that. Think about that. He's already, while in utero, announcing the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Woof. Now, those of us who have had children, we could probably say that we kind of started getting to know the personality of our children before they ever entered into this world. But John the Baptist, from the time he was conceived, they knew what his purpose in the world was to be to prepare the way of the world. And so Elizabeth, Elizabeth is excited that she is getting to greet the mother of God. Did she know that it was going to be Mary? No, not until Mary came into the house at that very moment. There's a lot of things in life that we're not prepared for. And there's a lot of joyful things that we have to experience in life. But sometimes we're not looking for joy, are we? You know, joy is one of those things that you have to seek. It doesn't just always happen to you. Oh, we can find all kinds of gloom and doom in the world, right? But to find joy and to know that that joy is from the Lord. Now, see, that is special. And so when... when Elizabeth experiences Mary coming in, being pregnant with Jesus, the Lord, the King of Kings, the Prince of Peace. She is filled with the Holy Spirit, the very breath of God, and knows that she is in the presence of him. How great is that? 
Did you know that you're in the presence of God today? Are, are you feeling that experience? Did you experience that when the kids were bringing the message to us today? Did you experience the, the joy that comes when you come into the sanctuary, into the Lord's house, and be able to praise his name? And have you experienced joy as you have gone out of these doors and offered a kind smile or holding the door open for somebody or just simply wishing them Merry Christmas? You see, if you look for the positive things and, and dive into the positive things, those are where we find joy in the Lord. Let us pray. Lord God, I thank you today for this moment that we have been able to share in Elizabeth's story. But I also thank you, Lord, as we prepare our hearts for the way of the Lord, that you did send us hope and peace and joy. We pray today that we all get to experience that in your holy love. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Our joy